In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul, and this is the Good News. Christ is risen. Indeed, he is risen. The scripture reading today is taken from the Gospel according to St. John, chapter 10, verses 1 through to 10. Most assuredly, I say to you, he who does not enter the sheepfold by the door, but climbs up some other way, the same is a thief and a robber. But he who enters by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the doorkeeper opens, and the sheep hear his voice, and he calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he brings out his own sheep, he goes before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice, yet they will by no means follow a stranger, but will flee from him, for they do not know the voice of strangers. Jesus used this illustration, but they do not understand the things which he spoke to them. Then he said, then Jesus said to them again, Most assuredly, I say to you, I am the door of the sheep. All who ever came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep do not hear them. I am the door. If anyone enters by me, he will be saved and will go in and out and find pasture. The thief does not come except to steal and to kill and to destroy. I have come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. I have come that they may have life and that they have may have it more abundantly. In the scripture reading from St. John, there's a little subheading that says, Jesus the Good Shepherd. And of course, as Jesus so often did, preached in parables, something that they could see or understand, because many were shepherds. But we read, in the, when Jesus goes on, we read at the last part of that, that section, Jesus uses this illustration, but they do not understand the things which he spoke to them. And then we go on and read. <clears throat> and Jesus said to them again, most assuredly, I say to you, I am the door of the sheep. All who ever came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep do not hear them. I am the door. If anyone enters by me, he will be saved and will go in and out and find pasture. The thief does not come except to steal and to kill and to destroy. I came, I have come, that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. Jesus is the way. I am the door of the sheep. Talking about the sheep pen. Those who came before me are thieves and robbers. I am the door. If anyone enters by me, he will be saved and will go in and out and find pasture. 
The thief does not come except to steal and to kill and to destroy. I have come that they may have life and that they have it more abundantly. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. The life more abundantly. He is our Saviour. He is our King. He is our Shepherd. He leads His sheep. He leads us on the way to heaven, to the kingdom of God. When we follow Jesus, obey his teachings, his commandment to love as he loves us. That commandment he gave us is so strong, so powerful. How can we possibly love each other as Jesus loved us? You might think for yourself. It's not going to be easy. But to be a true disciple, if we love one another as he loved us, by our actions, people will know that we are followers of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, we follow Jesus, we follow God. We learn about Jesus, we get to know him. And by doing this, we are understanding what God is all about through Jesus Christ. I have come that they may have life. And they have it more abundantly, Jesus said. Christ has risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs, bestowing life. He bestowed life upon us by his death and resurrection. Glory to God for all things. Glory be to him, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen, Amen, Amen.